We have the Yankees PR department. They have announced that number eight will be on the jersey for Yogi for the rest of the season. And with that in mind, we rejoin our Yes Network colleague and the voice of the New York Yankees, Michael Kay, who joins us from Toronto, there to call the final game of the Yankees Blue Jays series. And just apropos that every time we look to the end of the season on that Yankees jersey as we're watching a game, we'll see the number eight. I think it's important for the players as well. I mean, part of the uh, the greatness of the Yankee brand is the fact that the legacy of the team is so emblematic of championships. And the guy who won the most championships will be a constant reminder. His number eight will be on their sleeve as they continue uh, to try for another championship to put on the, their mantle. But uh, I think that's important. You know, you showed all the championships that have been won. And Yogi with 10, only one other team has more than 10. And that's the St. Louis Cardinals with 11. And the Yankees obviously have the most. Michael, we had a chance to ask Dave. David and, and sort of celebrate July 18th, 1999, when it was Yogi Berra Day. You were there to MC that day. What do you remember about that? I just remember it was a homecoming. And, you know, this was after the, um, uh, the detente between Yogi and George Steinbrenner. And, and Susan Waldman deserves all the credit there because she kind of uh, engineered that, bringing Yogi and, uh, and George Steinbrenner together. And then this was a Yogi Berra Day after they had finally gotten together and he was back at Yankee Stadium. And I just, you just felt the love of the fans who had missed out on Yogi for, for over a decade because he said he would not come back after he was unceremoniously fired after 16 games. Uh, and he kept his word, but then it was finally brokered that he, he would get together with, uh, with George Steinbrenner. Steinbrenner and George Steinbrenner came to his museum and, and apologized and then Yogi Berra Day happened and you know to further immortalize that and just uh, another thread in the Yankee fabric is that David goes out and pitches a perfect game and it, was, it always blew me away that eight behind home plate that was painted in white and then David goes out and throws 88 pitches for a perfect game with Yogi and Don Larson in, in the ballpark just an amazing amazing memory and to be able to MC that uh, and just feel the love that the fans had for Yogi that day at Yankee Stadium something I'll never forget. Michael, one of our colleagues is Paul O'Neill, of course, and he is a former Yankee. And today, Paul is expressing his thoughts about Yogi Berra as well. On Twitter, he's got a picture of himself with Yogi, and he writes, Rest in peace, Yogi. I will never forget our talks together. You are an American hero. I will truly miss you. You get that front seat view on the field. You were there for Paul O'Neill Day as well. What resonated with you that day? Well, it's almost a behind-the-scenes thing, Jack, to tell you what Yogi means to the present-day Yankees and past Yankees as well. Paul O'Neill is honored on the field. You know, he's getting a plaque out in Monument Park. And then after the game, or during the game, what the Yankees do is anybody that's honored, they give them a suite so their family and friends could be in the suite to watch the game. And uh, Yogi Berra, who was starting to be in failing health at that time, made it a point in a wheelchair to get to Paul O'Neill's suite and come there and talk to Paul. And you're seeing a picture right now that I actually snapped. And, and, and Paul choked up when he saw Yogi there. He said of all the things that this guy has to do and you know, being in a wheelchair, for, for him to come up and, and just spend time with me, it meant the world. And I think that so many Yankee players feel like that about Yogi. And I could just see it on Paul's face that day, what it meant. You know, it's amazing, and we, we, this has sort of been the thread of this entire show, Michael, is the fact that for Yogi, that meant the world to him but it was something that he would just normally do and have you ever met anybody that turned heads as much as yogi did when he would go by or walk into a room but to him it really was just yogi walking into a room well he was he was pretty much a shy guy and uh, i think that maybe it just became second nature to him because it was his whole life that way but the thing that made it incredible and jack and david could speak to this as well when he walked in a room and heads turned he didn't play the role of star. He didn't play the role of superstar. He was just Yogi Berra from St. Louis, and he was very humble, very, very grounded, and he made people feel comfortable. He didn't want them to feel as if they were in a room with somebody that was bigger than life. This was Yogi Berra. Yogi Berra was everybody knows Yogi Berra, and he seemed like he was everybody's friend, even people that didn't. Uh, actually get a chance to meet him. I've been looking at Twitter uh, while you guys have been uh, doing the show and just people saying, is it weird that I'm sitting here crying about a guy I never met? Well, you never met him, but you really knew him because what you saw was what you got. That was, that was the real man. That was Yogi Berra. You know what? That's a great way to encapsulate him, Michael. Absolutely. I think everybody feels they knew Yogi Berra. I know you have a story that you want to share with us about him and Phil Rizzuto. Please tell us that. I always choke up when I tell this, so I apologize in advance, but 
Uh, Phil was in ailing health toward the end of his life, and he was in an assisted living facility, which was kind of close to where Yogi's home was. And uh, every day, Yogi uh, would drive there and play cards with Phil. And then he would hold Phil's hand as Phil fell asleep every day. That's just an amazing thing. You know, kind of a teammate to the end. That is a fantastic way to put it, Michael. Thank you for sharing that story. He, it's, it's a great way to remember Yogi and a great way to just sum up who he is. Thanks.